Good afternoon and welcome to our homestead and happy new year. We have to talk about something today extremely important and that I do not want you to do in 2024. Let's go. Welcome inside of our greenhouse. It's much more comfortable in here to have a conversation with you. And the thing I wanted to talk about is not taking your foot off the gas in terms of homesteading. What I mean by that is I'm hearing so much discouragement. There's a lot of discouragement amongst homesteaders who've maybe been doing it for two or three years and I read it all the time in the comments and I see it on other channels and people want to give up. Now is not the time to do that. Now is the time, however, to smash your foot on the floor on the accelerator and get out of the cities. Get onto your country homestead. Whatever it takes for you to do that, I want you to do that. If it takes selling everything you have and living incredibly modestly out in the countryside, I want you to do that. And that could be where frustration has set in for some of those who have moved out already. And that frustration could be because they don't have the same lifestyle as they had in the city, the convenience of the city, the ease of buying things in the city, because it's a difficult lifestyle out here. It is much different. When you're becoming more self-sufficient, when you want to be more self-sufficient um, and provide food for your family and grow a garden and raise livestock and do whatever you need to do out here, it's extremely difficult and it is a lot of hard work. So I know many of you watching aren't like that. You want to do the hard work, you want to get into it. But I really want to talk to those who are thinking of being a homesteader, thinking of providing more in terms of food for their family or maybe energy or whatever it is, in getting out into the countryside and out of the city life. Don't get discouraged. Understand what you're getting into ahead of time and prepare yourself mentally. But you're going to need to prepare yourself financially as well. So start right now paying off debt and saving, saving, and saving. Because now, friends, is not the time to quit. It is not the time to give up on it if you've just started. Please do not do that. I gotta tell you, this was our worst year here on our homestead. A lot of projects failed. A lot of things came to light, like our water being contaminated with salt and killing our garden. Just things breaking and all of that. And you have to get through that. Those things will come at you, and sometimes they come at you all at the same time. But please, don't be discouraged. You can weather the storm. Now, for me personally, I'm a Christian, so my relationship with God helps me to weather the storm and cast my cares upon Him. If you're not, hey, that's cool too. Just know God loves you, and He wants the best for you. And even though there's these little bumps along the way, I have that hope and faith in Him. So I really don't have to worry. I'm a pretty happy guy all the time. But friends, I've been worried lately. There's a couple of channels out there that seemingly have been giving up. And there are two different types of homesteading, right? There's modern homesteading like this. You've got a greenhouse, you've got solar panels, you've got things to make your life a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more modern. And then there's like primitive uh, camping, <laughs> primitive homesteading, where you don't have anything but maybe an axe and a sleeping bag. I'm just kind of being facetious there. But you have very little and you're trying to make it. And it is extremely, extremely difficult. And if you jump into that situation right away, you really need to know what you're getting into. Because if you don't, you will be mentally turned off from homesteading really quickly. And once that happens, it's hard to get your mindset back going the other direction. I talk a lot about mindset and positivity here on my channel, and I've got a whole bunch of videos called Homesteading Inspiration, and you can click on that video link at the top of the screen. And here I just talk about our experience out here and the ups and downs of what's going on and remaining positive through all of it. And there is another big trend out there that I see that needs to stop, and that is people changing homesteads or starting over again. They've got their homestead established and then they go and start a new one for some odd reason. So there are legitimate reasons to do that. We've got friends who had to move because their next door neighbors were drug dealers. You know, out in the countryside, people hide 
and that can be the case. So you need to be careful. And then those people were bothering them quite a bit. They were able to move, they had an established homestead, but they were able to move to something that was also established. So don't start from scratch over and over again. And a big reason behind that is once you get all of your infrastructure in place and your garden growing properly and your soil correct and your fruit trees are the proper age to start really producing well, if you get up and leave, all that gets wiped clean. That slate gets wiped clean. You have to start those things over again and those things take time. And I honestly don't think we have much time before things get incredibly bad here, not only in this country, but around the world. And from my Christian perspective, no, we know not the day or the hour. However, we are to know and study the signs of Christ's second coming. So by studying those signs, you would know that it is imminent, obviously, but it is close and it's closer, obviously, than it ever has been. Because in addition to the massive amount of information that the Bible gives us on prophecy and the end times, Jesus said that this world would be like the days of Noah in the end. And the people and their attitude and their depravity would be the same. And we can see that happening even more now. Friends, homesteading channels and homesteading videos are one of the top viewed things on YouTube right now and around the internet. People are looking for a way to get out of the city. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian or you're not a Christian, but you understand things are just not right. You want to get away from those cities. So friends, please do what you can right now to move forward. And if you are moving forward right now, slam your foot on that gas. We've tried really hard over the years too to offer so much different information here on our channel. So I want you to like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and go check in our archives. We've got information on gardening, building a greenhouse, designing and building solar systems, working with the soil, working, you know, small mechanical projects, building projects, everything you could think of or everything that I could think of to do on a homestead, we've tried to do it. And friends, I want you to know that these are things that I am doing on a daily basis out here. I'm not randomly just thinking up stuff to make videos on. I am doing these things because I think they are beneficial for my family. And I just bring the camera along with me. And I take you through the successful projects and the ones that completely fail because, hey, I'm not an expert in everything, right? But I'm trying my best to be able to learn as much as I possibly can for these extremely trying times coming up. And that's another thing I wanna talk about. I want you to work at expanding your knowledge base. Learn how to can and preserve food. If you wanna do a different type of preservation, there are a lot of different preservation methods. We've done those here on the channel. You can click on those at the top of the screen as well on the little link. Swing a hammer, turn a wrench, Learn how to do those things, little electronic things, little plumbing things, building stuff, gardening, work in the soil. It's all very beneficial for you and you will see the benefits and reap the benefits of learning how to do all those new things. But friends, get on it now and don't look back. Keep moving forward and don't get discouraged. If you get discouraged, write me a comment and I will gladly talk to you. Write me an email, I'm happy to talk to you. There's tough times out here. I'm happy to give an encouraging word to everyone because I certainly can empathize with whatever it is you are going through. If you go back and listen to a lot of my other videos, I do give tidbits of information about my life in hopes that it helps you. Now, I've been crushed in a vehicle and severely, severely injured and almost died. And those injuries, I still have today, but I work through. I've lost a father in a violent way. I've done some not so nice things in my day, but God has forgiven me for those and I changed my life around. I've had no money at certain points in my life. I've had a lot of money at certain points in my life. I've lost jobs before numerous times, 
architecture, my profession, is extremely volatile. So trust me, I understand that as well. Many things that have happened to a lot of you have happened to me, and I can certainly understand where you're coming from. And that's certainly a big part of this channel, to give you my experience, not only in my life, but doing these projects, how to do them, if I know how to do them, how I fumble through some of them and fail on them, all of it. So friends, I hope you have a blessed 2024 and you move forward with your homestead and don't look back. Have a beautiful blessed day. We'll see you next time.